The one-year mission of Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko will provide scientists with new information about how people respond to being in weightlessness so we can get better prepared for future missions out into deep space to destinations like Mars or an asteroid. Kelly has been involved in the twins experiment, which will compare him during a year in space to his identical twin brother, Mark, on Earth. My colleague Dan Hewitt recently talked with former astronaut Mark Kelly to gauge his thoughts about his participation in the twins experiment, about his brother's record-setting mission, and how he'd feel uh, if it were him coming home from a year in space. Let's take a look. Well, I can kind of tell he's getting ready uh, to come home because I get less phone calls. You know, over the course of the year, they kind of, you know, started the peak at a while. And, you know, after you're there for about eight or nine months, you know, he was, seems to be seemed to be reaching out a lot uh, and not so much in the last few days. So I think he's scrambling uh, to get everything done uh, that he needs to do for this one year mission and, uh, you know, get his stuff packed and, uh, you know, get everything over to the Soyuz. And I remember he had remarked that he actually thinks he calls you even more while he's in space. Was that true throughout this mission? Did you get, you know, plenty of chances to talk to him while he was up there, you know, 250 miles overhead? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we definitely talk more when he is in space than when we were both on Earth. Not so much with me as a, as a you know, shuttle guy who uh, for space shuttle missions. Mm -hmm. You know, those are like, uh, you know, controlled chaos where you're just trying to get everything done over a two-week period. But for him, you know, living in space uh, and being so far detached from life on Earth, you know, one of the only real lifelines you have, one of the, well, the best one is certainly the ability to make a phone call. So I do talk to him a lot more when he's in space. Okay, and I mean, for this mission, you were anything but just kind of a, a passive bystander. You were actually part of the research. So I wanted, I was hoping you could talk about that a little bit more, some of the stuff you've been doing over the year as a, an active participant in the twin study. Yeah, you could say participant or guinea pig. <laughs> you know, one, you know, I guess either of those are appropriate. Uh, well, since before he launched, I've been providing data in a number of different ways to NASA for this study, and there's uh, 10 universities that are doing a bunch of science experiments on both Scott and I uh, because we're twins. Uh, you know, those universities consist of Cornell and Harvard Medical School, Johns Hopkins, University of Pennsylvania, and others. Stanford, I think, is one as well. And uh, yeah, so I provide data, and that data is, you know, sometimes is somebody comes to my house right here in Tucson. A phlebotomist will come from NASA and take 30 tubes of blood, saliva samples, uh, urine, and other things, and cart all that stuff back to uh, the Johnson Space Center where they distribute it to the researchers. Uh, I also travel um, rather regularly to Houston mm -hmm. uh, to do uh, more extensive uh, data collection, and those, you know, those data takes might consist of MRIs. Uh, ultrasounds, other science that NASA does, some of which I don't even, I'm not so sure what they're doing. <laughs> so, and I know for Scott, once he comes home, there's going to be many months more of data takes. Are you still, you know, on the hook for the next couple of months or year or so to contribute to this study? Hey, I'm happy to contribute as, as much as they need. You know, I told NASA, you know, whatever you need, just tell me where to be and when. And I'll, uh, I'll give, give you whatever you want. So whether this lasts another month for me or 10 months or 10 years, I, I don't really know, but I'm happy to participate. Okay. Now, so he's coming home soon. What's one thing you're really looking forward to doing with your brother again? You know, we were talking about maybe at some point going up to Alaska and going fishing or, okay. you know, doing something like that. I got to guy I know up there that's a, uh, you know, that's a, a guide for these salmon fishing trips. You know, it's all about finding the time, you know, mm -hmm. to, to do things like that. But we were, we were talking about doing that. Uh, you know, we're going to have a welcome home party for him, you know, at some point there in Houston. He has been gone a long time and, you know, over a year, period of a year, you know, you lose those connections with people. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important to, to get that back. Okay. Well, again, Mark Kelly, former NASA astronaut, twin brother of Scott Kelly, who's getting ready to wrap up his year in space. Mark, thanks so much for joining me today, and hopefully we'll see you out here in Houston in the not-too-distant future. You're welcome.